Now we continue to look at uh, some geometry theorems for competitive math. Today we're going to look at Sivert theorem. Given a triangle ABC here, if I have a point D E F such that they're concurrent here at point P, so A D B E C F all meet at point P. If that is the case, we're going to have this relation here. Notice the pattern here. AF over FB, BD over DC, CE over EA. So that's uh, the product of those ratio is equal to 1. That's the theorem. And the converse is also true. So if we have this condition here, you know, the, the other direction is also true. Now, there's a special case where the three lines are parallel. Now, mainly, we're going to prove that if, if they are the concurrent at point P, we're going to prove that the product of the ratio is equal to 1. So we're going to use the method of area. Recall that in a triangle, if we have the shared height, then the ratio of the shaded area over the bigger one is just the ratio of the base, in this case DC over BC. For this triangle, and the other one, let's use a different corner here, it's the same, same height, now the ratio of the triangle would be the ratio of the base. In this case, the base would be AF versus FB, right? So we have AF over FB is going to equal the area of triangle you know, highlighted here is ACF over the triangle BCF. We can actually look at the other triangle here, the smaller one. We can have the same conclusion here. Now the ratio here again is come down to the ratio of the base, where the height is coming here. Right. So we're going to write it here. So the that's the ratio of triangle APF over the area of triangle BPF. Now here we're going to use an important property for ratio, right? So this is from the algebra. If we have AB equal C over D, then the same ratio applies if we do the subtraction of the numerator and denominator. So in other words, here, if we apply it, this ratio is also equal to the difference of the areas. What are the differences? It's going to be the bigger one minus the smaller one. right? Here, this side is going to be the bigger one earlier minus the smaller one. So what is the difference here? The bigger one, again, the, big, the bigger one minus the smaller one. We claim that is actually the resulting one would be this one. On the other side, the bigger one minus the smaller one, we would be looking at this one. All right? So let's uh, write it down. So this is the ratio of the triangle APC over the triangle CPD. Now notice that uh, what we have done is the first ratio here. Right? This is the first ratio. How about BD over DC? BD over DC. Now, we use a similar logic. So BD over DC is going to equal the ratio of the two triangles, right? The triangle would be different. This would be the, the two big ones, right? So BD over DC, let's write it out as the ratio of the triangle ABD over the triangle of ADC. In the meantime, it also equal the triangle P B D over the triangle P D C. Using the same logic, the same ratio would equal the difference of the two, the bigger one minus the smaller one. So the resulting one would be this one. Okay? The, on the right hand side, the bigger one minus the smaller one. So the ratio that's going to be this one, right? So let's write it down. So that's equal triangle P B over the triangle A, 
PC. All right. Now, similarly, for the CE over EA, I'm going to skip steps here. We're looking at uh, C over EA. We claim that the ratio is going to be BPC over the ratio of APB. So if we multiply the three ratio together, what are we going to have? Let's call this the left hand side. The left hand side equal. Now each term, we have it here, right? So it's going to be the ratio of a bunch of uh, um, areas. So let's write it down. On the top, we have APC, we have uh, APB, and we have BPC. I just copy over, right? On the bottom, it's going to be this one, this one, and this one. Let's, write, let's copy it here. Notice that they would cancel, right? So here, APC cancels, and APB cancels, and BPC. And something is wrong here. The first one is wrong. Sorry about that. So this should be B here. Okay, there was a mistake earlier. This should be B, B here. Okay, so that will be B. And this would cancel the same triangle that's equal to one so we just uh, use the method of area to prove the CIFA theorem now the other method is going to be using Manolo's theorem for a triangle if we have a 9L cutting the triangle at different point D E F you would have this relation where AD over DB BF over FC and then CE over EA the product of the ratio is equal to 1 again we redraw the picture here the triangle ABD and then the 9L is what FC so from this we apply Menon's theorem we would have AF over FB times the other point here is the C intersection point so we have BC over CD and then we have DP over PA equal to 1 now we're gonna try another triangle consider the triangle ADC and the 9L in this case is gonna be 9B we apply the Manolo theorem and we here we know that the three intersection points would be E, would be P, would be B, right? So let's write it down here. We would have CE over EA, and then AP over PD times AP over PD, and then times for D, we have DB over BC. We claim that that's equal to 1. All right, that's Manolo's. Let's multiply equation one and equation two. All right, let's just uh, make it easier. I just make a copy of it. Right, so here, certain quantity would cancel. PA would cancel with AP. PD, DB, BC also cancels. Right? Remaining, which is AF over FB times. We're gonna take this term. BD over DC and we're going to take the, the remaining one which is C over EA equal to 1 all right so that's the second proof now for the converse how would you prove that we're going to skip the proof but usually what you can say that assume the two intersection point at P and let's say I'm going to draw CP and then extend it uh, intersect with um, F prime. We try to prove that F prime and F are the same point. Okay, that's how you prove, you know, they are concurrent. And, you know, from the intersection of two nine, you draw a, a nine segment, and then prove that uh, F F prime are the same. Let's look at the example of using CIFA theorem. Here we want to prove a few commonly known facts. The first one 
we claim that the three mediums of a triangle are concurrent. Uh, we know that the center is centroid of a triangle. We have the ratio here, AF over FB times BD over DC times CE over EA. In this case, e equal 1 times 1 times 1, because meter 9, right? This DEF are the midpoint of the 9th segment. So which means they are concurrent, and then they meet at a common point. We call it uh, P. Sometimes we write it as G. Now the second one is what is called also center. Now usually we write this as letter H. Again, in order to prove it, we have to show this ratio is equal to 1, right? So AF over FB times BD over DC times CE over EA. Now, how do we go about finding these ratios? Now, here we're going to use similar triangles because we have added two nines, so this is marked as a uh, right triangles here like here this is 90 degrees 90 degrees and this is also 90 degrees right so i claim that for for this one a b e this is the right triangle and the other one is a c f we claim that they're similar because they share a common angle this angle a which is the same and also they're right triangles right a e b is similar to the triangle a FC. For the similar triangle, the sides are in proportional. That is, we have AF over EA is going to equal to AC over AB. We use a similar argument, but this time we're looking at two different triangles. Let's look at the share the angle B here, right? These two right triangles, they share a common angle here, which is the angle B here. So the triangle BFC is similar triangle BDA. In this case, we know the sides are in proportion. Okay, so we said the BD over BF. So this is equal AB over for the BF. BF, this one would be BC, right? So it's equal BC. Now finally, we have another pair with shared angle C here. Here's the two right triangles that share a common angle here. So what we have is the triangle C D A is similar to triangle C E B. This is a C over C D here. The hypotenuse of uh, C E is going to be B C and this one will be A C. Multiply all three together. On the left hand side we have A F EA times BD, BF times C, CD. On the right hand side, we have AC over AB times AB over BC times BC over CA. Now notice that they all cancel, right? This cancel, BC cancel, they equal to 1. So this ratio is exactly the left hand side, right? So this one, we claim that this equal to 1. We have the, what is called the orthocenter edge here, the concurrent, all right? This is a proof using the Seifert theorem. Another common fact, that is, the in-center of a triangle, three angle bisectors of a triangle are concurrent. So we have uh, AD here, the bisect this triangle A, and this is the bisector here. This BD and the DC, in proportional to AB over AC because of the angle bisector. From this angle bisector, what we have is the following. Is that AB over AC is going to equal BD over DC. Now, similarly, for, for the bisector BE, so we're going to have this AEC and AB and BC in proportional okay so we write it down in order to cancel later we want to flip this okay we can say BC over AB 
equal EC over AE. Now finally, for CF, we have these two sets, AC versus BC is in proportional to AF over FB. All right, let's write it down. So let's look at the CFS uh, product, right? So what is AF over BF or FB times BD over DC times CE over EA. So let's plug in the earlier AF over FB is this one. Yeah, that's equal AC over BC. BD over DC is the first one is AB over AC. And C over EA is the second one here. C, C over EA here is BC over AB, all right? So it's BC over AB. And again, they all cancel here. BC cancels, that's equal to one. So the concurrent. So we look at uh, the in-center, author center, and the centroid. Now, there are some interesting properties regarding those different centers. And of course, earlier, we talked about nine-point circle, right? So we're going to look at those interesting properties in the subsequent videos. Hope you enjoyed the video today. And please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.